here we are. <laughs> Me trying to roll my arms. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're walking along the street in front of our hostel and we are going to go on a jeep tour so that we can climb the rock, La Pierna. And yeah, there's just horses walking around. Apparently that's um, something that happens here. There's also dogs and the dogs are nice. The horses won't come up to us and let us, the, let us pet them, but I'm a little bit scared of dogs. So that's not happening either. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a <the> dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, la pierna. I like this view. I think it's, I think it's up to my standards. We're a little over halfway up. It's not as many steps as I thought it would be. It's like, I think it's less than 10 stories. We just have to do that. And there's a little viewpoint here, which is pretty nice. Whoa. I've been taking a lot of pictures because, um, have you seen the view? <laughs> We're almost there. There's this little rest point. And then, we just have to go up that little guy. Although, we think that you can get better photos down. So, we're going back down already. How do you like it? Let me know in the comments whether, whether you're enjoying this vlog already and whether it is beautiful. But I don't know how you couldn't think it's beautiful. But if you don't, like, let me know. Let me know what you prefer. <laughs> Hawks. Back down. We are back in the city of Watape and we are walking towards the tour company to figure out how we can do a boat tour and I'll show you some of this beautiful city. Bueno, bueno. Anyways, all the towns around here is 27 kilometers distance. It's one day walking with mules and donkeys. So uh, they're just coming uh, from um, the north part of Colombia, which is Cartagena, using the main two rivers, um, Magdalena River. And
So the boat is down there and we are currently on at the only house that survived after the government decided to basically flood a whole town and rebuild it somewhere else. So the only thing that's left is a cross on a church that's over there and then this house which was apparently owned by the doctor and I will show it to you. There's the cross, I'm not sure if you can see it, and the house, which is 250 years old and apparently haunted. <laughs> This dog has been following me around everywhere and I actually kind of like it, so I take back what I said about dogs. But I was not prepared for what became the best boat tour, for sure. Maybe the best tour I've ever done. Our guide, our guide was John Michael and if you can do a tour with him, he's just incredible and we'll give you all of the real scoop <laughs> on what has gone on here. <laughs> so yeah, we saw Pablo Escobar's house, we went to um, see other things, which you saw. <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> you guys. So yeah, uh, that's all for now. I'll yeah. check in later. Yeah. Bye! <laughs> so we just finished walking around, we went to the shops <laughs> to start doing some touristy-ish things. I got this bag and now we're just having wine and we'll have dinner later. Good morning from Guatape. It is our last and final day here, day two. And last night basically we had leftovers so I didn't film it and then we went out dancing. It's kind of the off season so there's not much going on here. And <laughs> I just ordered a cinnamon roll so I should probably eat it. I had a cinnamon roll for breakfast and I just ordered a coffee as well and the girls are here and now they're gonna get jealous about the cinnamon rolls. Oh, do I want a cinnamon roll? They have some that are like Nutella roll. Shut up. <laughs> Okay, so we're currently at Eco Language Colombia, which is a tourist company and they have rooms, so I think it's also a hostel. It looks really nice, but basically we just came here and we're like, we're lost all of us. So um, she's being really nice and helping us find a car and telling us where the nice places to go are. So kind of lost, but also kind of successful yeah. and this place is really cute. <laughs> Oops. I 
can't believe this is you. We made it up in the Tuk Tuk we were four. So there were points where we had to get out because it couldn't go any further. That like in that windy uphill road. But we made it and it's so nice. Mucho gusto.